Okay, so in this example, I'm going to just in a very uh, straightforward way set out Black Scholes model uh, to estimate the value of a call. In other words, how would we work out the value of the premium on a call option? And I'm using the formulas as set out here. So Black Scholes requires us to know the parameter inputs for the stock price or the underlying asset, the exercise on the contract, the risk free rates, the dividend yield, the time period, and sigma. And what I'll do, just to set it out, I'll create a new worksheet. So I'll go into a new worksheet. So file, new, new worksheet. And I'll paste in those specific numbers. I'll take away the graph. And I'll remove the data table and I'll take this out and I'll just say copy this value and just paste special value just so that I can keep this value here constant and I know the right answer okay and I'll take out the one and I'll take out the two and the norms tests okay so we want to work out d1 d1 is equal to open bracket natural logarithm open bracket, and I'm following in line with this uh, formula here, S divided by K, close brackets, plus R minus Q dividend yield, plus sigma squared. So this is the divot, this is the volatility of the underlying assets return, and I say I'm going to square that so to the power of two, and I'll put it in brackets just to isolate the sigma. And then I say, okay, I'm dividing that by two, so okay, divide by two, close brackets, and I'm multiplying by t, and t just happens to be one year. Okay, now close the brackets, and everything here represents what's above the line. And then on underneath, I have sigma multiplied by the square root of t. So open brackets. And I have, again, um, t to the power of 0 0.5. Anything to the power of 0 0.5 is equivalent to the square root. So 16 to the power of 0 0.5 is 4. Um, 64 to the power of 0 0.5 is 8, and so on. So it's just a handy way of writing, implementing square root. And I get 0 0.35, which I recall is correct. Then to get d2, d2 is equal to d1 minus sigma multiplied by open brackets. Uh, again, t to the power of 0 0.5, close brackets. And I get 0 0.15, and then I need to estimate ND1 and ND2 because these are inputs into. So once I've got D1 and D2, I come back here to estimate C, and I need ND1 and ND2, and these are normal cumulative probabilities. So that's equal to to call up the normal cumulative probability in Excel. I use the norms dist function. Return and I do that again. So norms test equal to I'll take this green out in fact. And, this, and norms test again. So if I pull that down, it's now norms test d2. So nd2. And the last final step is just to verify that c3 is s e negative qt q and t by nd1 nd1 minus c4 c4 is the exercise exercise e negative rt so e negative rt the orange is r the risk free rate by the time period the maturity of the contract multiply finally by nd2 and that's c14 and that's the normal that's the final term here, and we get 1045. Okay.